They started out as a K-pop fan living in Korea, but after 18 surgeries, they've become quite the news story. So yeah, probably about 75k in total just on the procedures. Now, they've made a claim that has shocked the world. Do you think that you are toxic? No. Why not? I potentially could be, yeah. People are upset. You can't be Jim in, bro! You can't! Some don't know how to feel. It's kind of like that feeling when you see something scary, but you can't look away from it. Dr. Phil has even called Ollie out in the past. You're wanting to be a um, clone or a replica of someone else, which is an insult to you. Now, Ollie has a message for him. So please don't be mad at me, Dr. Phil. Ollie London's back with a new identity. British influencer Ollie London has sparked controversy once again. For those who don't know, they are a social media influencer and are a big fan of K-pop. For the past few years, they've been in the spotlight because of their quest to get plastic surgery to look like K-pop star Jimin of the group BTS. Over the years, their appearance has changed quite drastically. They've been featured on a number of shows such as Hooked on the Look, where they claim to have spent over £100,000 on plastic surgery to resemble their idol. I had all of the fatty tissue removed from my chest. Um, I've also had a blepharoplasty, which basically was work on my eyelids for rhinoplasties, um, angle reduction, which is basically a jawline surgery. I also have a silicone tin implant here. So yeah, probably about 75k in total just on the procedures. They've also appeared on Dr. Phil, where they revealed they had now spent over £150,000 on plastic surgery, having as many as 18 procedures. Even though Ali is Caucasian, they want to change their appearance to look Korean. On June 18th, Ali tweeted out pronouns they wanted to use. I'm officially Cor Ian, hashtag Corin boy. Some people weren't impressed with their coming out. You're officially Sai. Co. Korean is literally a nationality, not pronouns, Ollie. Get it right. I thought you said you weren't gonna culturally appropriate by claiming to be Korean. That same day, Ollie tweeted out a flag they'd created for people who are non-binary and identify as Korean. This is my new official flag for being a non-binary person who identifies as Korean. Thank you for the overwhelming support. It was hard for me to come out as they, them, core, Ian. Many people found Ollie's changing of the Korean flag to be disrespectful. I can understand your passion and love for K-pop, Korea, and your sexual identity, but we Koreans cannot welcome you because of this such an insulting image. Each national flag has their own meaning. To us, Taguki is a symbol of independence and unite. Hello, it's such a delight when people can love another country so much, but our Taguki has a very special historical and symbolic meaning in its design and colors. And being Korean is much more than simply saying you are. Please treat us more respectfully. The original black shapes on the corners have different meaning, and even the color matters. Our flag was made during the time of our resistance against colonization. This is really unbelievable. Some respect expected their coming out as non-binary, but found their neo-pronoun usage to be disrespectful. I am a person belonging to the non-binary umbrella, and this offends me a lot. Being Korean is a nationality, not a gender. You are making fun of all the non-binary umbrella, the neo-pronouns, and the entire LGBTQA community. Really stop, please. You can be non-binary, that's who you are, but you are not and you will never be Korean. Korean isn't a pronoun, nor is it a persona you decide to suddenly take on because of K-pop hype. I'm glad you identify as non-binary, and I applaud you for being transparent about that, but I can't commend you for taking a whole ethnicity and treating it like a persona. Multiple people shared an infographic explaining the meaning behind the Korean flag. The flag's white background is a traditional color in Korea and represents peace and purity. The circle in the center represents balance in the universe. The red half is for positive forces, the blue is for negative forces. The trigrams, the black lines on the flag, represent classical elements such as the four seasons and the four cardinal directions. LGBTQ people still struggle to be accepted in Korea. While cultural norms are shifting in Korea, LGBTQ people are still afraid of being outed in a society that doesn't always approve of who they are. During the pandemic, Korea has introduced a track and test system, testing over 77,000 people. With this system, information is being taken down so people can be contacted if they come into contact with someone who tests positive. 
Through this system, many people have been outed as LGBTQ from spending time at LGBTQ bars or in popular LGBTQ areas. My credit card company told me that they passed on my payment information in the district to the authorities. I feel so trapped and hunted down. If I get tested, my company will most likely find out I'm gay. I'll lose my job and face a public humiliation. I feel as if my whole life is about to collapse. Stigma against LGBTQ people is nothing new to Korea. An issue brief from the Asian Institute, a research institute in Korea, shows that anti-discrimination bills were proposed in 2007, 2010, and 2013, but all were discarded. Same-sex marriage is still illegal in Korea, and gay and transgender soldiers can be dismissed from the military. A survey conducted in 2018 showed that 49% of people interviewed were opposed to homosexuality, and up to 95% of people were uncomfortable with the idea of having gay people as close friends. However, an article published in 2017 in the Journal of Homosexuality showed an increasing trend of acceptance. From 1994 to 2014, positivity toward homosexuality has risen from 24% to 32%, and in 2013, 61% of Koreans disapproved of homosexuality, showing a 21% decrease in 2018. On June 19th, Ali tweeted out a picture of a rainbow-colored map of Korea and said their homeland was Korea, despite being born in the UK. My homeland, poor Ia. Thank you to the non-binary community for your love and support the last few days. I feel happier than ever to be a part of your amazing community. A lot of people weren't supportive of their coming out. Sincerely from the non-binary community, we don't welcome you. No, the non-binary community don't support you, Ollie. They hate you. You might be having delusions. I'm sorry to break it to you, but we've never welcomed you. At all. You've mocked the LGBTQ plus community, and now this only makes you look like a ridiculous attention seeker. Some were offended by it. Korea, Ollie. Korea, please don't make a country name into pronouns. This is literally mocking us. You are making Neo pronouns invalid. Stop it! Despite the massive backlash, Ollie put out a video thanking some people for their support. Hey guys, so I just want to say a huge thank you to the non-binary community for accepting me with open arms. It's been a very difficult decision trying to find myself recently. And um, I just want to thank particularly the Korean people, the Korean non-binary community. And this is the um, flag, the LGBTQI plus non-binary flag of South Korea. They also claimed they weren't the one to make the rainbow Korean flag. It's actually the official LGBTQI plus non-binary flag of South Korea. So please don't disrespect me saying that I changed the flag because this is actually on Wikipedia. A few people showed support for Ollie. We love you, Ollie. Congratulations. Some people were confused about the support Ollie spoke about. We didn't say we accepted you? Clearly the opposite. You are literally disrespecting non-binary people. And I say this for myself and South Korea too. Thanks to who? No one in their right mind, especially the LGBTQ plus community, accepts you. Some people agree to respect Ollie's they them pronouns, but not their Korean pronoun. Sure, we can use they them pronouns on you, but not your Korean pronoun that you made or whatever, because that is just plain dumb. This is f Korean people. I will use they them for you, but not whatever this is. This is really getting out of hand, Ollie. I will use they them for you, but I will never use Korean because it looks like you're mocking neo pronouns. Just delete this, please. Ali later tweeted, I am Korean, whether people accept it or not, this is how I identify. This is what makes me happy. This is who I am. It's in my DNA. Hashtag Korean man. Hashtag Ali London. They then addressed the haters with a TikTok. Do you think that you are toxic? No. Why not? I potentially could be, yeah. Yeah. I wouldn't say I'm a control freak. But if I feel that someone's not doing it as good as I would. They followed up their video with more tweets. Stay pressed, Korea boo who? The next day, they asked people to stop misgendering them. Stop misgendering me. Please respect my neo pronouns. This is who I am and how I identify. So please gender me correctly. Ali said people needed to be concerned about bigger world issues than just them. They posted about issues happening in Myanmar and Israel and about the Yulin festival in China. They call people hypocritical for paying attention to them instead of other global issues. Ali then called out woke people who were criticizing them. Practice what you preach, woke squad. Y'all are hypocrites and the angriest, most hateful people out there. Spread love, not hate. If you don't agree with someone's life choices, move on. Don't dictate your communist ways to others. On June 22nd, they tweeted out their love for Korea along with an article about their procedure journey. 
I will always love Korea and be Korean. On June 23rd, Ollie posted to their Instagram with photos of a number of articles written about them. I wanted to be a beacon of light for these brave people and tell them it's okay to express themselves and it's okay to come out to the world with however you identify. Yes, I identify as Korean. Yes, I'm non-binary. Yes, I look like Jimin. But none of this should be a reason to outcast me from society, to dehumanize me and shame me for being who I am, a non-binary Korean person. They also offered to participate in Korea's mandatory military service. I'm offering two years of my time to the Korean government to do military service for Korea, if they make me a full-time citizen of their great country. Cater News posted a video of Ollie's surgery. In the video, Ollie shows off their new appearance, claiming to have had their eyes worked on and a brow lift. They said they had been trapped in the wrong body for eight years. Ollie continued to post about their claimed ethnicity. I love being Korean. They also continued to bring up Jimin from BTS and posted a video to show off their new face. Do you love my new face? It's Korean, just like Jimin. I'm so happy. For context, this is what Jimin looks like. They posted in support of the Stop Asian Hate Movement. Ali defended their race. Saying I'm not Korean is the same as saying the earth is flat. On June 24th, Ali began to retweet people defending transracial rights. Someone tweeted out, It's extremely hypocritical for people to say women can identify as men and men can identify as women, but Ollie London here cannot identify as Korean. Honestly, I don't really care what people identify as. It's their lives and their bodies. Ollie replied, This, I couldn't agree more. They repeated the argument in their own words. If a man can become a woman, a woman can become a man. Then why cannot someone become Korean? I support the right for everyone to choose who they are and be who they were born to be. So woke people, don't be hypocritical and preach about one thing but reject someone who is Korean. They tried cracking some jokes. Stop accusing me of Asian fishing. I'm vegetarian. I don't go fishing. Ollie showed off their new teeth in a tweet. Loving my new million dollar Jimin smile from Atelia Dent. I had 24 teeth custom made to be identical to Jimin's smile. They then posted their skincare routine, calling it tips on how to get a Korean aesthetic. In the video, they showed themselves applying a skin whitening cream and mentioned getting skin lightening injections. Skin lightening has become a popular trend in Korea. Many people use skincare products like whitening creams to lighten their skin and give them a paler look. Some go as far as getting skin lightening plastic surgery to achieve their desired look. Ali tweeted out another Korean pride flag and made a big claim about their situation in Korea. I am very touched to be the first openly LGBT plus Korean pop star, and I hope by coming out, I help the millions of LGBTQI plus youth in Korea be able to express themselves, be open, and be able to accept who they are. Happy Pride Month! They also posted a video showing off their completed look. New hair, new teeth, new eyes, new forehead, new me. They tweeted again about the Korean pride flag, defending themselves. The Korean flag with the rainbow colors added on for Seoul pride. As I have said, it is the official LGBT flag of Korea used by LGBT groups. As you can see here, it's being proudly waved at Seoul pride. So to the several Korean media falsely reporting I created the flag, fact check. All K-pop, a popular K-pop news website, released an article on Ollie. But they were angry because the news source implied they didn't look like Jimin. Are you for real, all K-pop? You actually think after I have lived in Korea, learnt the language, changed my life, changed my face that I don't like Jimin? Like, seriously, stop using me for clickbait already. They also asked people to respect their pronouns. Ali turned their attention back to the Korean pride flag drama, showing negative comments from an article written about them in a Seoul newspaper. I shared the LGBT flag of Korea to help LGBT Korean people find their voice. LGBT face discrimination and difficulty due to conservative attitudes and cannot be openly LGBT. This homophobic article written about me today says it all. Just look at the comments section. They began to tweet about human rights issues again, telling people to turn their attention away from them and onto China. They spoke about China's political party and their oppression of Muslim Uyghur people and oppression in Tibet. They finished their rant by making a poll asking if they should delete their account. 89% of the people who voted said yes. On June 26, Ali uploaded a video titled, Being Korean. In the video, they said they've been struggling with how they identify and revealed they've been transitioning. I've been very unhappy with who I am deep down um, for the last eight years and I've, you know, I've had like 18 plastic surgeries now. For the first time in my life, I feel beautiful. You know, I'm looking in the mirror and I love the way I look and uh, feel happy. They came out once again as non-binary and Korean. But I am coming out as non-binary. Um, I don't feel I identify as male or female. I just feel like I'm just in the middle. 
um, and my pronouns are they, them, Korean, Jimin because I know a lot of people don't understand me but I do identify as Korean and I do look Korean now, I do feel Korean, I don't identify as British so please don't um, refer to me, any media or anyone online as British because I, I identify as Korean, that's just my culture, that's my home country, that's exactly how I look now um, and I also identify as Jimmy and that's my Korean name. They called out people who said they make content for attention. I don't want to receive any backlash for this because this is a very personal thing to share. You guys like, uh, you know, people online like YouTubers, they would say, oh, he does things for attention. Like nobody would do this for attention. Nobody would go through this much pain, this much suffering. I've had 18 surgeries in total for the last eight years. Nobody would do that to themselves for attention. On June 28th, Ollie shared a video to Twitter of them recovering post-op from their surgeries. The making of Ollie Soul, hashtag Ollie London, hashtag Ollie Soul. They compared being transracial to being transgender. Being transsexual is the same as being transracial because you are born in the wrong body. Conservative political commentator Ben Shapiro showed support for Ollie, quote tweeting a number of their tweets. Live your truth, Ollie. Trans Koreans are Koreans. Only bigots disagree. Ollie replied to one of Ben's tweets. Thank you so much for the support, Ben. Glad to have you call out the hypocrisy of the woke with me. Ben replied, This bigotry during Pride Month of all times is a disturbing reminder of just what trans Koreans face. Ollie tweeted they felt accepted after an article was posted about them in Newsweek. British actor and political activist Lawrence Fox tweeted, Live your best life to Ollie in Korean. British right-wing YouTuber and conspiracy theorist Paul Joseph Watson also showed support for Ollie. The backlash against Ollie London is ignorant and bigoted. If biological men can identify as women, why can't Ollie identify as Korean? Transracial must be added to the LGBT flag immediately. It's time to stop transracial hate. Paul Joseph Watson also posted an article about Ollie to Infowars. Ollie thanked them for their article. Thank you for the support, Infowars and Prison Planet. It's important we all stick together to call out woke hypocrisy. Ollie asked the LGBT community to add transracial to the pride flag. Please add transracial to the LGBTQIA flag. I know there are millions of underrepresented transracial people in the world, and I want to elevate their voices and help them live their truth and be themselves. British rapper Zuby quote tweeted Ollie's transition video and seemed confused why people could accept that Ollie is non-binary but not that they're Korean. Can somebody who accepts that this individual is non-binary please explain to me why that makes sense to you and is acceptable but it is not okay for this person to be Korean? Ollie once again said they would take a DNA test to prove their ethnicity. I will take a DNA test live on American TV if I have to prove myself. Trust the science. Fashion News put out a Medium article reporting on Ben Shapiro and Paul Joseph Watson's tweets, claiming the Republican Party supported Ollie. Ollie thanked them for their support. Thanks for the support for everyone in the USA. The Federalist, an online conservative magazine, posted an article calling out the inconsistencies of people accepting transgender people but not transracial people. Ollie continued to tweet, claiming they had invented being transracial. Transracial is a thing. I invented it. If you can be transgender, you can be transracial. Live your life to the fullest. Be who you want to be and spread love. On June 30th, Ollie spoke to TMZ about receiving threats from people who wanted Ollie to end their life or wanted to harm Ollie. On July 1st, Ollie tweeted out in support of the Stop Asian Hate movement again. Rachel Dolezal, a former college instructor and activist who is best known for being a transracial advocate, spoke to TMZ and showed her support for Ollie. For context, Rachel went viral in 2015 after her parents outed that she was a white woman living as a black woman. She had been living as a black woman for a number of years and was even the head of the NAACP chapter in Spokane, Washington. In a 2015 interview with Vanity Fair, Dolajal said, It's not a costume. I don't know spiritually and metaphysically how this goes, but I do know that from my earliest memories, I have awareness and connection with the black experience, and that's never left me. It's not something that I can put on and take off anymore. Like I said, I've had my years of confusion and wondering who I really was, and why and how do I live my life and make sense of it all. But I'm not confused about that any longer. I think the world might be, but I'm not. In her interview with TMZ, Rachel said, I don't know Jimin personally, obviously, so they can speak for themselves in that regard, but I do think that the broader issue here is compassion and kindness, and that personal identity is not the big fish to fry when it comes to somebody's personal choices or how they feel. Meanwhile, on Twitter, Ollie continued to tweet about stopping transracial hate. 
Ali brought up Senator Elizabeth Warren in their argument. Senator Elizabeth Warren identifies as Native American, so why cannot I be Korean? For context, Elizabeth Warren has claimed Native American heritage. After getting genetic testing done, her distant Native American heritage was confirmed. Ali then tweeted out a video following a popular TikTok trend. I'm Korean, check. Actor Lawrence Fox once again showed support for Ali. Transracial rights are human rights. Ali said they believe themselves to be genuinely Korean. Trans Koreans are Koreans too. On July 2nd, Ali posted a message for Dr. Phil. Message for Dr. Phil, don't send me to the ranch. You told me to love the real me, the love the real Ali, and uh, I did take your advice for like a year, but then I kind of just uh, changed my mind. So please don't be mad at me, Dr. Phil, but I'm so happy to have transitioned from British to Korean. I'm now gonna be identical to Jimin, even more identical than I already was. Ali once again spoke to TMZ to clarify their transition. They said BTS was not the reason they wanted to transition to Korean. They claimed they fell in love with the culture while living in Korea, and their transition is more about a love for the food, culture, and lifestyle. On July 3rd, Ali tweeted at Disneyland to be inclusive and include their pronouns. Okay, Disneyland, well, please make sure to include people like me in your new inclusive messaging, Jimin Korean. They also published a poll asking if they look like Jimin. 91% of people said no. Again, this is what Jimin looks like. Ali tweeted out a clip from Wendy Williams and took offense to it. In the clip, Wendy referred to Jimin as a person in a pop band and said she would be offended if she were Korean. Ali said, Wendy Williams, Jimin is not some person in a pop band. He is the biggest and greatest pop star on the planet. And you should care about BTS because they have changed the face of the music industry and brought K-pop to a global audience. FYI, Korean people love me. On July 4th, Ali was looking for support. Are you Team Ali or Team Woke? On July 6th, they clarified their pronouns again. Respect my pronouns. They, them, core Ian. They also called their haters transphobic. People sending me hate are transphobic. I am trans Korean. I'm not asking everyone to accept me, but I'm asking everyone to respect me for who I am. They changed their last name from London to Seoul and now refers to themselves as Ali Seoul. Ali also shared a clip of their story being featured on a Korean news channel. They continued to share an interview they did with the UK morning show this morning. On July 7th, they released their own line of merch, featuring a shirt that said Stop Asian Hate. They claimed a portion of the proceeds would go to Diversity Santa Cruz Org, a community center for LGBTQ people. On July 8th, they shared a clip of them visiting the Line Friends store and comparing their hand size to Jimin's. On July 9th, they retweeted a video of their interview with LBC, a British talk radio station. On July 11th, they started tweeting about the Olympics. Anyway, I hope my country, Korea, wins the Olympics. They should definitely let me represent Korea. Maybe I would win a gold medal for looking like Jimin. I'm calling on Olympics to add a sports category for lookalikes. There has probably never been anyone in the history of mankind that looks more identical to Jimin than me. I'm sure I could pick up a gold medal or two for my native country, Korea. While we don't think the Olympics checks Ollie's Twitter, a lot of other people have. They may not agree with what Ollie is saying, but Ollie has definitely received a lot of attention. Should Ollie continue to receive so much attention? Do you support them? Let me know in the comments below.